Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. Time of this recording is just a little bit before 5 o'clock on Tuesday, April 7th. We're going to take a look here at our severe weather risk as we move into the next couple of days. We're going to start you off, first of all, with the severe weather risk later on this Tuesday night. You notice there is a slight risk in northeast Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, and parts of southwest Missouri. It does not include northwest Arkansas because it appears the thunderstorms will develop off to our north as currently a stationary front remains positioned just off to our north. Now, as you'll see, the severe weather risk ramps up quite a bit tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the most significant severe weather day, especially in north central and northeast Oklahoma. Some of the storms could clip northwest Arkansas, and if they do, they will most likely be severe. But there remains a question as to how much storm activity will be farther east of the dry line into the northwest Arkansas area. Currently, it's looking like the greatest potential for severe storms will be uh, with thunderstorm initiation tomorrow afternoon into the evening in north central and northeast Oklahoma and not in northwest Arkansas. We could see thunderstorms later on Wednesday night. Now on Thursday a cold front will be positioned just off to the west of northwest Arkansas and the River Valley and some computer models are taking this system and racing it way too quickly to the uh, northeast and I think personally this is the storm prediction center risk for Thursday. We're going to see this enhanced area shifted a little back to the southwest because one of the computer models, the GFS, which stands for Global Forecast System, is a little bit too quick with this system in my opinion. So this is the way the severe weather setup will be Wednesday afternoon, a dry line positioned off to our west. This is what we call the triple point where you have a low pressure system, a stationary front, and a dry line. And uh, here you're going to have all that thunderstorm activity with those thunderstorms drifting uh, to the northeast into southeast Kansas and south central Kansas. That's the area of most significant severe weather for Wednesday. Now on Thursday, there's those thunderstorms popping up along the front and along the dry line. But Thursday, the front kind of uh, translates eastward. Now depending on how quick this front makes it through Oklahoma, the thunderstorm risk uh, could include some isolated tornadoes on Thursday, but right now, if that uh, cold front catches up to the dry line, which is what it's looking like, especially Thursday afternoon into the evening, we'll have more of a hail and damaging wind threat, but there still could be some embedded uh, circulations and embedded mesocyclones within a line of thunderstorms. However, if that cold front remains off to the west a little bit more and doesn't push through quite as quickly and we have more of a dry line setup and uh, a dry line setting up in central and eastern Oklahoma, then our severe weather risk on Thursday afternoon could be a little more significant. So the big weather system starting to make its way on shore slowly and there still remains a lot of uncertainty as to the exact speed and location of the track of that system. But it still looks like severe thunderstorms, a possibility tomorrow late afternoon, but more likely overnight tomorrow night into early Thursday, and then another round Thursday in the early to mid-afternoon. Now we're talking as early as about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and as late as about 5, 6 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. So all this timing will need to be refined. Until then, keep you here with your weather authority, and we'll keep you up to date with the latest.